where I team is getting results. It was just about this time last year that the I team went undercover to expose an unlicensed car dealer who was hawking potentially risky vehicles. Today, that man went to court. And as Tisha Thompson explains, the judge made it clear he needs to find a new line of work. It is important to note that with the media's help, with NBC4's help, that uh, we were able to get on to uh, this particular case. The last time we saw Blake Keller, he was hanging out in this Silver Spring parking lot last summer, showing cars to potential buyers. Keller tried to sell cars to News 4 employees who went undercover, including this 1991 Lexus, a 2001 Cadillac, and this 1999 Saab. But here's the problem. The News 4 I team found he doesn't have a dealer's license to sell cars in Maryland, leaving questions about whether any of the vehicles were inspected or safe to drive. Are these cars safe to drive? Oh, yeah. How do you know? Because I've driven them. Have they been inspected? Do they meet Maryland inspection? No, they probably will. A lot of them have been inspected. They're, they're safe cars. At the time, Keller promised to show us his dealer's license, but he never did. What I'm doing is not illegal. Maryland's Motor Vehicle Administration disagreed. After our story aired, the state charged him with multiple counts of conducting business and acting as a vehicle salesman without a license. This particular individual was selling cars without a dealer's license, and those cars were in fact breaking down. They did not have warranties. They did not have um, the kinds of safety mechanisms and measures that should be required for automobile sales. Keller showed up to Montgomery County District Court on crutches with a foot injury to face those charges. He pled guilty to one charge. Blake, Tisha Thompson. Get out my face. The judge gave him 12 months of supervised probation and a $500 fine, along with a warning that if he's found selling cars again in Maryland, he could end up behind bars. We want to hold this defendant accountable and also send a strong message that um, if he should offend again, we can actually uh, seek more time and a larger fine. Plenty of worse things somebody could be out here doing, man. Y'all better take heat. In Rockville, Tisha Thompson, News 4i team. Three